had several people ask me about Vassal and uh, what it is and how to use it. It's a uh, way of playing games online. You can play against other people, or as I do most of the time, it's it's great for solitaire games. There's a large variety of Vassal modules out there, particularly in the wargaming community. So I'm just going to show you how to use it if you haven't ever messed around with it uh, before. It's very easy, and it's an open source kind of thing. So type in Vassal Engine, and that should get you right there. Click on that, and this is what you want. Now, get Vassal for Windows. This is assuming you have a 64-bit system, which most people do. I'm going to click on this, and I get my download. And then I'm just going to go and open it. It's going to give me a... I'm going to say, run anyway, my computer's protected. Hit yes. This is the setup. It's got to use the standard. Hit install. And let it do its thing there and finish and we're just going to go ahead and run Vassal. It's an app on this. And here it is. Now this is my library of games. I'm just going to show you how to load a game from uh, the internet to your system. So go up to your modules here and as an example I'm going to use the module Napoleon at Waterloo. I think that's a great trainer game. If I can spell Waterloo. There it is. You could also just uh, browse through the uh, catalog of games here. Here's our two versions. I'm going to try the SPI. Actually, I'm going to do the second edition version. Sometimes you have to check several versions to see if they work. Some work better than others. And I would try both of them. Okay, we're going to open that. And that should show up on my Vassal. You can see up in the upper left corner, it's loading in. And when it's loaded, your uh, game library is going to appear on this screen. Okay, now this isn't for multiplayer. This is just for playing solitaire that I'm talking about today. Okay, now it should be down here. Let's see. Oh, it opened up for me. Normally you could also click on one of these versions down here, but since this opened up since it was the first time I used it, start a new game offline, hit Next. You need to put in a player name or nickname. It doesn't matter what you put in. I'm just going to put GGG. Just You can put anything there. Okay, on selecting setup, in this one there's only one setup, so I'm going to use the beginning setup. That's the default setup for this particular game. Hit next. Now this is important. Join game is which side. You want to put in, generally if there's a solitaire um, version of the game, put that in if you're just playing by yourself. Otherwise you'll have to just put in French or Allies. And I'm going to show you something here. Okay, there's the game. We don't want a log file. Let's go ahead and pull this up. And you can see your game set up. You can move your pieces around. Now, if you were to put, in some of the games, if you were to put down one side or the other, you can't play the pieces from the other side. You have to go up and hit, um, there's going to be something up here that says retire or a flag. It just depends from game to game. You're going to want to switch that out and you could flip from French to Allies. And if you're having problems playing the game, if it's not operating right, about 75% of the time, it's because you're playing on the wrong side. So, But with the Observer or Solitaire versions, you don't have to worry about that. And that's pretty much it. You've got your dice, you've got your tables. Um, every game's a little different up here. Whenever you move something here, there's a little move path, and to erase that, you can hit that moved button. That's pretty standard. Also, the pluses and minuses up here are zoom in and zoom out. That's pretty standard on most of these Vassal. There's also a camera function if you want to uh, take a picture of the screen as it is. So that's kind of it. Um, that's just a real quick overview of Vassal. 
I just would like to say I'm not being paid by any game company, but I do suggest supporting those uh, game companies like GMT and uh, Decision and Multiman that all support Vassal. I think that's important to support those companies because they've been pretty generous in supporting this system. Uh, the other thing I would also mention along the same lines is be sure and support your local friendly game store. Friendly local game store. Um, they're operating on pretty low margins, and I think it helps them out a lot if you can send some business their way. Uh, certainly, it's better than giving the money to Bezos over at Amazon. So kind of try to do those two things if you can. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks a lot, and I sure appreciate it, and I'll see you later. Bye.